Anybody celebrate it? No, no moms. No. No. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I, you know, took my mom out, but uh, I got a phone call from, from a friend yesterday, and he's like, dude, we gotta go out. Like, tonight, we have to. I'm like, what's up? It's like, man, it's Mother's Day. All the milfs are gonna be outside. <laughs> <laughs> you got the whole concept wrong, man. Like, anyways, this is messed up here. You know what I know? Like, a lot of you guys think, you know, your mom's cooking is the best cooking ever, right? Right. Yeah, I go, your mom sucks. Anyways. So, my mom, I think, I, you know, I think my mom's, you know, like, her cooking is the best. So, you know, but there's a catch. And I'll explain. This was on the news uh, recently. Uh, apparently, inmates at Guantanamo Bay, uh, Guantanamo Bay were forced, they were force feeding them, I guess. You know what that means? You know where I'm going with this? Yeah. That's my life, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feed it. All through my childhood. But it's not even bad for me. Like, my friends that come over for a freaking dinner, I have to physically carry them off the table. And it's just like, dude, you're gonna be okay. No more food, man. Make your stuff, man. And that's it. But well, you know what, I want to see my mom at one of those like cooking shows, you know, where they, uh, you serve the dish to the, the judges and they criticize it. And I can just imagine my mom going to that. You know, like, okay, serve your food. And she just comes over like, okay, I serve And they're like, yeah, oh, there's a nice touch of uh, parsley in here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, eat, 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 eat. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, you know what? You can actually use more parsley. Oh, more, more! I give you more! I give you more! Okay, uh, ma'am, uh, can we get the other dish? No, no, no. finish first. You finish first. <laughs> it will be like a whole show, then eating like a whole freaking day. <laughs> Anyways, enough with the moms. You guys probably don't like moms, that's why I'm going to switch the subject here. Uh, I was talking to a girl once, or I talked to a girl once, okay. uh, whatever it is. <laughs> And then in her conversation, she's like, what's your zodiac sign? And I'm, I'm, I'm Scorpio. She's like, oh my god, Scorpios are great in bed. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've never heard this before. And I'm like, what? Like, I mean, because you hear like, you know, Leos are natural leaders and Pisces are like, they're emotional or, you know, Gemini, whatever, they're indecisive. But like Scorpios, they're basically, I looked at it. We're like the shittiest zodiac. Our only saving grace is we're great in bed. <laughs> I'm not gonna freaking argue with that, okay? Like, I take, I, I believe in that shit now. It's 100%. Anyone got no fucking astrology, I'm gonna freaking like fight okay? So, you know, I was like fucking just going around, like telling everybody, like, hey man, like, what's your story? I'm, I'm Scorpio, apparently we're great in bed. <laughs> you can't argue with man, it's fucking like planets and stars and shit. What are you saying? Anyways, and I got cocky, right? No pun intended. <laughs> so one night I'm like, okay, drank a whole bottle of fucking whiskey, okay? Now, the thing is, when you drink a bottle of whiskey, I don't care if you're the biggest fucking scorpion in the world. <laughs> you can anything or anybody. <laughs> so, you know, I'm all ready to go. actually give make a good demonstration. I'm like, oh, worked out. I'm like, okay. Okay, say hello to my little scorpion. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Buddy, wake up! <laughs> Sleeping? Like, I don't know. It's just the alignment's not there. I <laughs> it was fucking a disaster. <laughs> Guys, it's not that funny, actually. This is so <laughs> This is sad. Anyway, so she's like, what? Like, fuck, man, that's just great. Well, you know what? It's still great. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>